Hello and welcome. Today we've got a 5 ampere M18 battery and there's a problem with this one. I'll just show you what it is here now. It's shown fully charged and it's flashing a red light and it won't power at all. If we check the voltage, it's not fully charged, it's 16.2 volts, you know. So we'll have to get inside and see what is going on. This looks like a new battery nearly, but it's not performing like one. We'll have to check the individual cell banks to see what the voltage are like in them. You see if they're up, down or equal or unequal or what they are. Here we are, that's out of the pack, so we'll, we'll do a volt check here now, and then the individual banks of cells. Right, we're going to test the voltages all the way down here, to just to see, there's five banks of two cells, if you know anything about batteries, but if you don't, that's okay too. 405, that's fully charged, that bank, and the next one down is 403, fully charged also. Third one down is showing less than a volt, 0 0.17 of a volt. And this is 408 fully charged. And 408. Right, so in the middle bank of cells here, these ones, are showing less than a volt. I can bring these back from the dead. There might be a price. I have a goal to pay for that. I can use this B6 to bring them back. I can do that and we'll do that. But what I'm going to do after I do that is I'm going to check the cells. I'm going to check how good the fix was. I used to just have a wait and see attitude to this. However, I have a load tester now and I'm just going to bring this up to fully charged. Make sure it's right nice and the charger and the board's alright. And then we can do a load test. I'm going to attach these on with small magnets here. Like that there. And there is a... Uh, there's a risk of uh, cross-connection if you don't know what you're doing. So be very careful if you're attempting this yourself. You have to know what you're up to. And they set the charger, you have to know how to set the charger as well. Make sure everything's sitting in place where it should be. And we're, we're going to try 1S, but we may have to go. Oh, I, it'll do alright. That's 1S, that's taking the charge now. So we're bringing that up to it, fully charges, and we'll come back to it. We'll come back to it. I'll come back when it's fully charged, and then we can test it on the Milwaukee charger and see if it's going to... Reset the board. Right, so here we are. That's been on for 105 minutes. And I'm just going to stop it now. And that should be up in line with the rest, I would imagine, at this stage. We'll just do a quick volt check and make sure. Yep, yeah, four weight. So we'll put it together and try it in the charger and see if it resets There we are. So we'll try this in the charger now to see what happens. And we're getting Milwaukee Christmas. That's no good. Oh, there we are. We've got a fully charged thing. That'll have reset the board. Sometimes you've got to do that, put it in a couple of times. And now we have a fully charged battery. And we'll check the overall voltage just to make sure. Oh, 
and with 20 volts that's pretty good I'll take that but the question is this battery's been fully restored and it's in its original casing original cells everything's original because that bank of cells was so low sometimes there's a toll on the on the cells and they're just not holding up as well as they, sh they should so what we're going to have to do is take it apart again and put in a load test we're going to have to set the load tester before we start because uh, I have to clear the um, clear the data on it from the last test and we'll have to set the cutoff voltage at 12.5 volts and what we're looking for is the waters that this is supposed to get to is uh, 90 watt hours we'll be looking for if that's a good battery if that's if it's as good as new it'll be 90 watt hours and the milliamps the capacity see the capacity there at the bottom milliamps that should be 5000 milliamps if it's as good as new any shortfall in those two numbers shows loss of performance due to use which i don't think it's use in this case i think this battery was through somewhere and uh forgotten about you know it's really to do with uh what the voltage recovery of that one metal bank of cells will have done to it so we'll give it a word now and this is quite a harsh test if these cells are weak it'll it'll either destroy them or they'll not they'll be forced lower than the rest so we'll start her now this is going to take probably an hour so we're going to stop the video and then we'll uh, we'll come back to this. So here we are after 40 minutes. The uh, load tester has finished its cycle. It should have went to full hour. But the battery didn't go the distance. 59 watt hours out of 95 and 3,400 milliamps out of 5,000. So it's a 3.4 ampere battery we have here, not a 5 ampere. That's not good. And what we have to do now is get this back out of the case and test how the cells responded. This is the way you find out if the cells are actually all weak or any any bad ones in it. 3.14 that 2.7 2.7 hmm. 3.31 So the cells are all over the place as far as strength is concerned So once it got down to a certain voltage some of the cells recovered better than others. All we'll do is we'll put it together and we'll try it in the charger and see what happens. And then when it charges up, we can we can see how well it balances out, which it shouldn't balance out too well. The looks of things. But we'll try it and it's charging. I know so that's a good sign. It hasn't given me the Milwaukee Christmas lights yet, so we'll have to leave that for a while to charge up. So with the battery off the charge, we'll just we'll just do a quick volt check on the top here, and this will tell us how we did. Did the battery recover fully from the load test on the charger? And the answer is yes. That's a perfect battery. The voltage in that battery is perfect. That surprises me, but it's it's pretty good. So what we have here is a perfectly usable battery. But on the load test, it showed me it's only about 60% what it should be. So is what I did today worth doing? Is probably the question we need to ask. And the answer is yes. Because we have a usable battery, whereas before I started we had a paperweight, you know. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for all my other videos.